Hi everyone, in this video we are going to see the policy reform initiated by the Department of the Science and Technology in the Geospatial Data and Mapping. Uh, it's a very good initiative that uh, initiated by the Department of the Science and Technology as far as the Digital India Smart City then industrial corridors and e-commerce is concerned and uh, this is the reform that basically initiated for Indian companies and Indian innovators so that they can compete globally next uh, hereafter there will be a no restriction and uh, no prior approval security clearances and licenses for for geospatial data and geospatial data services including maps and this creation then production and dissemination for this there will be a no security clearances uh, no prior approvals and licenses for Indian companies and Indian innovators only except uh, this is this is also an important one uh, all the all the geospatial data produced by the government using public funds will be accessible for scientific then economic and developmental purposes for again Indian companies and Indian innovators except um, classified geospatial data collected by the security and law enforcement agencies this is the exception and other than that all the geospatial data will be available or accessible to the uh, innovator and companies uh, for the scientific economic and developmental purposes but here uh, self-responsibility lies with the Indian companies and Indian innovator so they are uh, means government is trusting on them and government has given a job or self-responsibility uh, to self-certify you self-certify -certi and apply the good judgment uh, with regard to the guidelines so self-responsibility on the Indian companies and Indian innovator next why reform needed uh, before that there was a cumbersome process with regard to security clearances and then permission for licenses but now it's available to all Indians which are in uh, which are innovator so this process will not be there pre approvals and permissions so uh, this policy reform did cut unnecessary red tapism this is a good sign and uh, in this way it will promote private players 
in the services of data spatial and mapping so they will create uh, they will produce uh, they will disseminate and uh, in this way the the business or commerce of data spatial and mapping industry will go up so let's see usage uh, it is a use useful in the national infrastructure projects like a, a linkages of rivers and then industrial corridors and uh, deployment of the smart power systems next uh, emerging technology also a need uh, emerging technologies like a uh, digital india smart city e-commerce uh, drones delivery log logistic urban transport uh, it requires mapping with a great depth higher resolution with a precision so this private player or private companies and uh, innovator indian innovator uh, will help in the mapping with a greater depth with higher resolution and precision and it will useful in the digital india smart city e-commerce uh, drones uh, then logistics and urban transport so as far as the new india is concerned uh, these are the sectors which are important one then let's say benefits it will beneficial for the indian innovator at the same time it will help to prepare for emergency response like a earthquake situation then tsunami then cyclones etc or heavy uh, rainfall let's see uh, the potential of the industry that is a geospatial products and solution and mapping industry it will help uh, in the economic development at the same time uh, its value would be 1 lakh crore by 2030 along with the economic impact then geo map till till now uh, geo map is has been used for security of the country but now it will be useful for the developmental process at the same time security of the country this is all about the policy reform in geospatial uh, geospatial data and uh, uh, its uh, its services and mapping uh, this is all about the policy reform thanks for watching